Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can change your app icons on your iPhone. A lot of people have been doing this after the iOS 14 update, so I thought I'd show you guys how to do it very easily. If you guys enjoy this video and want me to make another video on iOS 14 and the best widgets, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So right here, I'm on my phone. You can see this is the newest version of iOS. You don't actually need the newest version of iOS for this. If I go and search up shortcuts, I think as long as you have iOS 13, it should have this app and you're able to do this. So once you're on shortcuts, you can see there's a bunch of different shortcuts you can choose from. But what you wanna do is you want to make a new shortcut and create a new action. So the action is gonna be open app. So right here, and then you want to choose the app. So let's just say we're choosing Instagram. Now, what you want to do is you want to click the three dots at the top. You want to add to home screen. And now you can change the name. It doesn't even have to be Instagram, um, but let's just do Instagram in all caps. Let's just say that's your aesthetic. You like all caps. Now, if you click on the icon, you can choose a photo. So this is where you can customize the logo. So right here, I have Instagram uh, popped up. I like this neon thing. Um, and you can see there's a bunch of different colors. So let's just say we take this one. We hold down and press add to photos. Now we can choose photo and we can click on the first one. And you just want to make it bigger. Obviously this one is a watermark. Um, and you wanna choose one that's consistent, like has multiple versions uh, for Twitter, Facebook and stuff like that. So you have a consistent theme. You don't even have to use a logo. You could use you know any sort of aesthetic picture. Um, and so yeah. So if we add it, it should be on your home screen now. So right here, it's right there. So if you click on it, it opens up. The only thing is it has that little delay because it has to go to the shortcut app now. And another problem that happens is you're gonna have two of the same app. So you can see Instagram right here and Instagram right here. So you just wanna hold down, remove the app from the home screen so you can move to app library. So it sort of hides it and doesn't delete it. And yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.